कभी शक के कगार पे तो कभी प्यार से तो कभी साइलेंस मेंटेन करके ये एक्ट्रेस हमें सबको गुमराह कर रही है गुमराह कर रही है या प्यार की बातें कर रही है ये तो हम <laughs> जानेंगे उनसे ही हाय दिस इज समीना शेख योर एंड जॉइन मी एज आई वेलकम प्राची दिसाई ऑन माय शो हाय समीना दैट वाज रियली क्यूट या ट्राइड दैट वाज सो स्वीट like basically <laughs> i tried like working on your roles and wondering like what all you have served that's you know, amazing yeah. that's amazing right. so people who watched uh, many of these movies that you just mentioned mm. they will know exactly mm. what you're talking about yeah and like as you became super popular with kasam se to now your journey with dhuta with silence yeah. you have come a long way prachi like i have to like really say that you know i have seen your you know as a kid i have seen your scenes you know in kasam se and it's been such a lovely story versus now when i see you and i'm like wow that's what we want to see about you that's one of the nicest things i've heard thank you so much for that nice. and i also completely treasure you know treasure my fans uh, the ones who've probably seen the first very job that i did up until now um it's amazing it is and you know just like you remember it's really special it's yeah. incredible to be remembered uh, for something that you did like many many years ago and i was a teenager exactly. at the time yeah. you know completely new but just for everyone accepting me um, doing that it's incredible for an actor yeah it's the best it's the best feeling in fact i used to read like you know uh, over the years about yours so and you were bani i remember the character's name was <laughs> and i i used to feel like she's very simple she's very simple and grounded and humble and when i saw you in pilu song with imran ashman i was like oh my god <laughs> that is a kind of girl like any guy would prefer you know dating or you know being wanting to be with or the kind of story it was around and the way the character also became so popular the song itself was so popular and then now i see you in dhuta and it's very much your role because it's like a lot of responsibilities you know being into investigative journalism do you also feel that you have also left what you have done in the past and you have completely like come like a very fresh you know uh, entrant in the in the industry sometimes it feels like that absolutely uh, and you know to be honest uh, for an actor um, i mean or any field for that matter you know when you're in a certain line of work you always uh, are waiting for something different and you're waiting for maybe a new challenge or to grow and i think for me this was it you know uh, uh, venturing into it's my telugu debut uh, in a series yeah. uh this is my first series ever it's my first ever telugu uh, project it's my first ever project with uh, nachita and your vikram and the team so there were many firsts in that sense and uh, that excited me i think you know and it was that point where you feel like uh, uh, you know maybe let's give this a shot but after doing it you know there's like a new sense of uh, confidence that is reinstilled you know you know you know that oh i can do this also you yeah. know and that's i think for on a human level it's just the best feeling yeah. so um yeah like you said um it is it is overwhelming for you yeah, absolutely <laughs> absolutely and totally worth uh, worth the experience but also prachi i have to say uh, you know when i was i when mean, i was talking about you know people used to say that you know oh prachi has disappeared suddenly you know but i felt like you have been very selective rather than disappearing from the industry it's not about disappearing of course there are certain things which we'll come on to but you have not disappeared you have been very selective in terms of roles which attracts your attention you're not just like okay i have to select this also select this also just be there on camera mm. is that true if i'm you know talking about you I love your choice of words hmm. because that's exactly what it is. Um I've always been uh, selective or choosy uh, about the kind of roles that I do and uh, it it I think that was my approach always and it never changed even now with OTT and with uh, web series and everything I'm still selective but I'm also very happy with uh, you know what I'm doing because it's giving me a sense of variety it's letting me do um, the kind of roles that conventionally maybe you wouldn't see me doing on the big screen yeah. um so that there's OTT for that uh, the big screen of course is for you know all the amazing work that you still want to do so it's a great balance of um, of things and it's a mixed bag um but i do yes i do love this choice of uh, you know words of being selective rather than um, mm. anything else because yeah. that's exactly what it is uh, you know for me it's very important that uh, i i look at the story on the whole so it has to be a good story and then of course the role um you know there there has to be something about that role where 
you know, maybe maybe it's a point of conflict or maybe it's changing um, somebody's trajectory of life or something like that, like something meaningful yeah. uh, in that story and in that arc. Um, so I still stick to that, you know, it, it cannot just be a role because, uh, it, For the you know, coffee. you're there. Yeah. Um, I stick to that and that's, you know, one of the reasons why I'm picky about, uh, about what I do. And also like in the past you have spoken about you know casting couch and you have spoken about how it does hinder the growth for an actress but now as we are growing and as women have become vocal about a lot of things they have taken to a stand on social media they are literally giving it back they are not appreciating movies like animals also, also for that matter if women are treated you know in a wrong context for that matter and a lot of actresses have also come up do you feel now is the time where actresses can flourish and will be recognized more more as compared to the struggles which has happened in the past? Um, you know, women standing up uh, for themselves is amazing in its own, but women standing up for each other, yes. uh, I think that's the most beautiful thing. And I just, you know, <laughs> I don't know, I, I'm a dreamer, I just every day I, I wish and dream, um, you know, to see a world where nobody has to put in an effort for these things, you know, it should just be so natural, so normal, so organic, we coexist, um, you know, everyone's living their own lives, letting the other live their life mm -hmm. and, you know, just, just be peaceful in your own space, Correct. Uh, that's how it should be, you mm -hmm. know, um, but yes, I mean, we've made the world what it is. Um, but yeah, I think people, I think women owning their space, standing up for themselves. Um, what I like a lot is, uh, you know, just the ability for a lot of young girls or women actually of any age uh, who are able to watch that much more in terms of, say, real life experiences or interviews or people on social media or somewhere where they derive this, um, you know, this, this, um, energy from or they derive just um, you know hope from or maybe as an inspiration they, f they you know look up to something and say that you know I think I can also take a stand yeah. that is something that I uh, really like about today's times as you mentioned like mm -hmm. there is a shift there is a change that I like the most yeah being able to you know find an example somewhere and just just derive that uh, uh, you know kind of like support through it while nepotism still as a term exists and thanks to Kangna for even inventing this word as you know completely like coming out mm -hmm. of it and a lot of people have spoken about that I've seen one thing in you Prachi you and it's a very good it's a compliment to you that you have not let that de deter your performance you know you have come as a new you know, as a person on your own without a godfather but you have grown on your own you know with your own contacts whatever you could do in whatever space and in your performance spoke volume rather than you know all these elements which people feel that that could just make you a star. Yeah. Do you feel that the same? That's uh, very kind of you to say, thank you. Um, absolutely, I think uh, at the end of the day, you know, when you have to look back at your life, uh, what's going to matter is uh, everything that you continue doing, you know, you just not giving up, um, you know, you living your dream uh, because every single day I'm so, so, so grateful about this life, um, you know, everything that I was able to do and even now I mean uh, there's some great stuff that I'm getting to do so uh, I just want to look at that and focus on that um, but yeah it is it, it is amazing and uh, just just that when you realize at some point in your life that what's going to matter is that nobody you know gives up because yeah. you don't remember um, you know the things that you didn't do you will remember the things you did yes. so why not make you know the most of that mm. and um, i think i'm a living example of that <laughs> but as we also talk about these topic and as you said like you have made your telugu debut it was also a debut for naga chaitanya because he oh, has yeah. not an ott and when i interviewed him he was like i have not an ott i was not That's very sure true. should i be part of it or no reluctance was mm. there but finally it happened and i saw you know i started seeing the series it gets you very much like engrossed to it Ab kya nice. hoga, now what will happen and all these things when you were working on this how investigative <laughs> you know kira of yours came out while working on this one <laughs> um, what do i say i mean it is my uh, first ever telugu uh, project and and my first ever web series so exciting in that sense um, you know the the process is is large because uh, you have so many episodes you i mean we have we have eight in our show and um, if it's about 30 or 40 minutes each it's almost like making three movies altogether you know so um, 
in that sense, yes, uh, everything is a lot more. But um, it, well, what was uh, my investigative, instinctive side that really came to the fore? Uh, you know, I, I just have to say that this whole supernatural element to the show was uh, so fun, so interesting in its own, and uh, my director's imagination runs wild. If you watch the show further you will see what i mean i mean you know these are things that uh, uh, on a normal day you and i are not imagining exactly but uh, you know he imagined all all of that he put it onto paper he made us all uh, you know play it out okay it's it's crazy it's pretty crazy um in that sense i think the whole experience was a lot of fun hmm. What I probably didn't get to do as as a journalist on the show was field work. Like you, yeah. you don't see uh, us, um, uh, you know, interact and do those things that maybe a journalist gets to live on a day-to-day -day, uh, life and as a part of the job. Hmm. I think the point at which the show starts at is um, is an unfortunate turn of events. So basically, it starts us at this point where you know s things are start happening, and then you follow you know that stream of uh, of events so yeah maybe the next one i can actually do some proper like journalism <laughs> but as we also which is a um, mm -hmm. tough job tough job yeah it's, it's, a, it's tough a tough job, job. i mean it's quite i may a tough not have job. got to do uh, field work and stuff on it but yeah. um, you know in general because when you watch the whole show and then you realize that uh, you know it's a, it's a it's a job that comes with so much responsibility and yeah. um, at the end of the day i mean see you guys Y'all are, you know, Duta, the meaning of Duta, our show, is a messenger and mm. journalists are messengers, you know, to, mm. to mankind, to, to all of us. Um, so it is a beautiful profession, it's got all that responsibility on it and you guys are never supposed to, you know, I mean, you choose not to give your opinion of things, you know, you yes. rather choose to just give us the news, the message, mm. whatever that is. Yeah. But in so many terms and in so many senses, you know, journalism or journalists have been the key force to say some of driving these big revolutions, you know, uh, of in history, even even today. Um, so I'd say that it's it's um, it's one hell of a job, and uh, yeah, I would love to, you know, kind of uh, live that more on screen in the future. Yeah, yeah play uh, play a, play a journalist again. I would love that. In fact, as we talk about journalism also, you know, uh, there are so many times when you don't even realize but headlines really oh, get, yeah. you know, get into a star. Like there are some, you know, uh, complicated headlines or something, you know, which could be very controversial, mm -hmm. which may not intend, in, uh, you know, that way or sometimes it may intend, yeah. you know. And that leads to a lot of trouble for the actor and yeah. their personal life and their professional life. Yeah. Have you ever been a victim of that and how have you dealt with it, you know, if you were in a situation like that? Um, Absolutely yes. Um, I think uh, most of us actors would say that uh, uh, it happens. It's only at a certain point in life uh, or in your career that you, you know, through experience, you realize that this is a part of the job. Um, see, I would like to say that you know it shouldn't be a part of the job. Like mm -hmm. you know, something that uh, um, you know causes you any kind of um, discomfort at a at a personal level you know mm. that shouldn't be because uh, at the end of the day you know you are uh, you are your family and uh, you know all of that uh, and your friends and you know your world whatever your world is yeah. so um, yeah I would say that uh, it it has happened mm. but then over time you learn how to um, you know just get past it not let that affect you uh, I'm still learning because see every day is a new experience you just never know what when how yeah um, but I think as a person I've always chosen to kind of stay a bit um, you know stay more private and um, you know not just be out there uh, with my life hmm. I think that's kind of my way of coping with um, you know keeping my life guarded and, and my loved ones uh, close and stuff like that so you find a way and last two questions to you the very first being is as being an actress, you are a public figure, but how do you try to manage your personal life? It could be a relationship, it could be a family life, which doesn't come under radar. There are occasions where you have also opened up, you know, when it came to your past experiences with a person you were dating and, you know, he cheated on you and all these things, but it was your choice of opening up. But sometimes people, especially the social media people or we journalists, you know, we get into that like what exactly she's up to, why is she single or you know what exactly. Does that get caught in your head sometimes or how do you let go of that? That negativity it could lead to sometimes like why is it bothering them? It doesn't affect my work for that matter. How do you deal with that? 
Um, you know, I think I think uh, when it when it does affect the other person that you're probably with, maybe you know what your line of work is, and uh, you know uh, that up to a certain extent, you know there will always be that interest in your life and things like that. But then when it starts affecting other people, uh, mm. you know, I think that's the time when you really feel a little helpless because yeah. um, uh, you know there's only that much that you can do. And uh, like I said, you know, you still live and you learn. You just don't know, um, you know, what, where could uh, really affect somebody's equation. Yeah. Um, but I think for that reason, uh, I'm always kind of like I said, you know, I'm a little, uh, I'm actually very protective about um, my family, my personal life. So many of them are so crazy shy. They would never like, you know, want to be in front of the camera. And uh, I, I think you you would also relate to that because yeah. in your family, I'm sure, you know, you have people yeah, who... Yeah, they feel very they weird, feel like how come they're on cameras? Exactly. Yeah, it happens to them. So that happens. And, um, you know, uh, also personally, I think people that you're involved with, um, uh, not... I mean, all the time will people be from the industry. There will be people you're with who are uh, who have nothing to do with uh, you know media and and are our industry. The background, yeah. mm. So I think for them, uh, I just get then all the more protective because um, I, I I would like to you know just make sure that their life is intact. You know, not getting affected because of uh, my line of work and things like that. So you overcompensate, yeah. And lastly, before I let you go, what are your upcoming projects you're working on? You're also working with Manoj Bajpai and silence is all about it is. So tell me about your upcoming projects. Well, the uh, Duta has just dropped. So I'm really hoping that all of you guys go watch Duta. You have to tell me what you think uh, of this. I have liked yet. it already. So I'm just <laughs> watching the series and I think I will get into a very shaky wala zone after watching this. Yeah. It happens, right? Because you are... Constantly thinking of it, like ki calculation karo literally. <laughs> Iska matlab kya hai? I want to know all the wrong guesses you're going to make along the way, you know, oh, as yes. the episodes progress. That's going to be fun. So, well, Duta has dropped. I'm uh, really excited. Um, you know, it's a, it's a different space altogether. So, that's nice. And uh, then there is silence too. Uh, we had a whole lot of fun, you know, during the first part. Um, working with Manoj sir was an absolute dream come true. I think for mm. any actor, you know, I'm sure. So many would have, uh, you know, on their bucket list, I think, Manoj sir's name as, as somebody that they would love to work with someday. Mm. Um, so that, and he's a living legend. I, every day I get to learn something new from him. So uh, working with him for the second time on, on this one, it was all the more special. Yeah. Wow. Okay, looking forward to see more of your work. And uh, can I just tell you that both Manoj Bajpai and Nath Chaitanya, oh my God, they're always just feeding us. Manoj sir even cooks sometimes uh, okay. on the set, you know. Yeah himself and uh, guys I don't know where it's going <laughs> <laughs> so next time when I'm taking you for uh, hopefully we are going See to another do one who just wants to feed <laughs> me now yeah. damn it okay we get to know what your choices are <laughs> but lovely chatting with you Prachi you and such a positive soul I must say that and it was thoroughly a very good conversation looking forward to see more Thank of your you. work and hi this is Prachi Desai and you're watching me exclusively on zoom